Hi guys, it's Amy here and today we're going to be looking at uh, assignments and creating a Blackboard assignment. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into Blackboard and I'm going to go straight into a course so we can start creating our assignment. So now we're, e we're in Blackboard, um, what I've done is I've created an area uh, on the left hand side called tests and assignments just so it's easy for students to know where it is. And the first thing we're going to do is go to assessments and choose assignment. Um, so when you're creating your assignment, you'll need to give it a name, so a nice relevant name for, for your assignment. So this could be a video submission, it could be a PDF or a document presentation. Um, whatever your, your assignment is, make sure you give it a relevant name so that students understand what it is they're submitting to. Um, but for this example, I'm just going to call it Learning Outcome 1. Okay. So I can add instructions. So it could be um, simple instructions such as please upload a PDF. Uh, it could be actual text instructions on how to upload. Um, you know, whatever, whatever uh, instructions you feel like you need to add in this area, you, you can add in. Um, for this one, I'm just going to uh, put in please upload a video, for example. Uh, and that's uh, what I can add into the instructions. I can also add images. Uh, I can even insert files into here. Uh, but again, you probably later on want to insert your file through here. So this assignment file, it could be um, something that students need to download and fill in. It could be further instructions. It could be some reading that they need to do beforehand. In this assignment files, you can um, browse your computer, the content collection, or some cloud storage, so your OneDrive there and find a file to upload into here. So I'm just going to browse my computer. And I'll just upload this file here, this PDF. Uh, I can add a due date. So um, for example, maybe I want this to be in by Friday. So if I just click on the little calendar icon, I can then select Friday. And if I click on the clock icon, I can choose when uh, I want it to be in by. So by default, it usually picks midnight. Um, I'm going to choose five o'clock on Friday. So that's my due date. Uh, my points possible. So this is how you grade. Um, so some people do 210, other people do 321, other people do out of percentages. It's personally up to how you grade that you can add the points in here. I, I'm going to do a 210 system, so I'll just put two. Uh, if you have rubrics uh, in your team, you can add a rubric here. Um, so you can either create a new rubric or um, create from existing one or just select rubric. Um, rubrics isn't something we're going to go into in this video, um, but you can add them into here as well if you need to. Um, once you have rubrics, you'll have the option to choose whether or not you can show it to your students. Uh, another thing is under submission details, you can choose kind of what submission this is. So you can choose if it's individual, so that's each student has to submit to this. Uh, group, so if you've created groups, you could have group A, B and C have to submit. So there's only three submissions needed rather than each student having to individually um, submit, uh, submit. And you also have portfolio submission. Um, so if you are using the Blackboard portfolio tool, rather than just viewing uh, snapshots, you can have it submitted so it goes into the grade center. Um, if you are using the Blackboard ePortfolio tool, it's a bit picky sometimes, so sometimes there can be a wee bit issues. But other than that, it's, it's all good. Um, and also choose how many attempts they now get. So maybe I choose multiple and the attempts that they get is two. And I will score with the last graded attempt. Um, there are other ways of scoring. You can choose highest grade, lowest grade. Um, first grade, etc., um, and average of the grades. But I'm just going to choose last graded because that is the default that you would normally use. Um, so you can also enable anonymous grading or delegated grading. So this is depending on if you want um, different members of staff to grade certain uh, things. It's not used often. Um, you, you can do that without using this. So I'm just going to close that one down. Uh, display of grades. Um, so normally the score displays uh, and there isn't a secondary display for students. Students only ever see the score. 
You can change it so that they can see um, words, but that's using a grading schema. So it's not something that we're going to go into in this video, but we can do that in another video if we need to. Um, uh, if you use grade center grading calculations, you can choose whether or not you include it. If you don't include it, untick that. If you do, have it ticked. Um, show students in my grades. You probably want that ticked because uh, there's no point grading their work and then not letting them see it. Um, so make the assignment available. You can limit the availability. So you can say, right, um, so we picked earlier that it was due on Friday. So let's say um, it starts tomorrow at 9.47, why not? Display it until Saturday. Uh, we don't want to see it uh, after Saturday, basically. Um, and it will dare from the Blackboard, from the student side. You'll still be able to see it, but the students will no longer be able to see it. You can also track the number of views as well. And just wait for it to load. And there we go. We have now created our first um, Blackboard assignment. So students will be able to now come in here and they'll be able to upload work um, after the availability. So it's available tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, they'll see it. They'll be able to go in, uh, upload their, their pieces of work, or they can write submissions, um, whichever you, you they prefer to work and they're able to do that um, very easily from here. So that's everything for creating the assignment. We're going to look at um, grading the assignment and, and a couple other things that you can do with Blackboard assignments uh, in another video. Um, just a reminder that you can contact uh, the team. So we've got Ian, David, and myself. Uh, we're available via email, but we're also available via Teams. And we also have this information available in text format and interactive tutorial format on the Digital Futures Toolkit. So there's lots of stuff on there. There's also the student side of assignments. You can see how to submit videos, uh, um, submit assignments, how to, to actually get into there. Uh, and you can see um, more information on grading and rubrics as well available there. So hope you enjoyed the video and uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.